was it's sort of deja vu with the fourth quarter this not being able to close anything out here six minutes to go we had uh i want to say four or five turnovers straight coming out of that timeout and uh those led to four or five threes for them and um, you just can't turn the ball over against them in those situations. They're too fast, too skilled, too talented because uh, they make you pay. Uh, I thought up until that point we had really played a, a real solid competitive basketball game. But um, like you said, we haven't we haven't figured out how to close it out. Um, you know, we just whatever for whatever reason we tightened up. Coach, you talked about wanting to see these guys trust each other, share the ball, execute, and, and winning moments, tight moments. Is it frustrating to not see that? Yes. <laughs> it's really frustrating, but my job is to keep figuring out how to get them to do it and use these painful examples to show them and you know hopefully you can keep growing for from it you know the positive side of it is that's one of the best teams in the east that team is going to contend and that's two games in a row now against them that we pushed them to the brink and uh you know those are real positives we had some really good contributions tonight um you know obviously julius played well uh rj had a solid game but i thought dennis smith jr you know finally had a game where you know he can look at it and say okay here it goes I'm, I'm getting my legs back and um you know for the most part up until that last stretch i really thought we did a solid job defending them that's a really tough team to guard and uh you know but that that last six minutes coming out of that timeout they just exploded on both ends of the floor and uh we had no answer for them Hi. After the last game, uh, you mentioned the team needed to work on free throws. You said they were doing better in practice. How did you feel they did today? It's biting us. <laughs> we missed uh, 11. Can't miss 11 free throws against the Boston Celtics and, and think you're going to win a, a close game. So we just got to stay with it. We're going to keep coming up with creative ways to try to make them better at it. Um, right now, I think it's much more mental than it is technical. Um, you know, and, uh, but we just got to stay with it because, again, if you go through, I would say eight of our losses, nine of our losses, we either didn't shoot enough of them or we, or we missed the ones that we did get. Coach, in terms of the trapping and recovering, it seemed like you had a really nice stretch in the third quarter there for a while. Um, how would you assess the overall effect of um, getting back out on the open shooters tonight? We were doing a great job, I thought. Um, you know, we had, uh, I think they were they, they had made 10 threes going into the fourth quarter. And, you know, we, we had them under, you know, somewhere in the 30s in points in the paint. And then, you know, that fourth quarter, you know, they run off five threes on us. And so, uh, again, it's just something that we got to keep harping on and, and working at. And I think those threes, though, that, that they got were much more based off of our turnovers. And now us being in a scramble mode and having to, you know, find guys. And, and again, you just these guys don't miss uh, open shots. And so they really made us pay uh, in that fourth quarter. Uh, Coach, the Mitchell, again, with the foul trouble, is he doing the same things? I know he tried to work on it. Um, yeah, I think I think there's been a little bit of a regression, but I, I, I always expect that from these kids. You know, always young guys, that it's not like they just get it and then that's it, and that's all, on to the next thing. I still think he's got a lot, a lot of work to do when it comes to uh, staying disciplined and focused in on, on not getting in foul trouble because it, it does hurt us when we can't play him. You know, significant minutes. Is, do you have any update on uh, Frank and just what his injury is? No, I don't. I got to find out once I, I, I get to the back. Um, you know, I know it was something to do with his back, um, but I'm not sure exactly what it was. I don't think it's severe, but, uh, you know, it's a chance he may miss the next game. Coach, you guys had a lead, a uh, good portion of the game. If you could put your finger on it, what happens, and it's happened before, obviously, where you've got the lead and just something happens and all of a sudden... Tonight it was turnovers. Tonight it was turnovers. The turnovers sparked them. Um, Jalen Brown got the one still coming out of timeout and got a layup out of it. And we literally, I, I want to say, four more straight possessions, uh, we turned the ball over and they capitalized on each one of those. And when you have a lead, that's, you got to get shots on goal. If there's uh, 
Uh, just kind of the end of the next 10 game segment. I was just kind of curious what your of the season, the quarter of the season, and I was just kind of curious what your assessment was of the way you know the last two weeks have gone. Yeah. I think we're becoming a better basketball team. Um, like I said, we got our ass whooped in Toronto, and sometimes that's going to happen to the best of them. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, but if you look at our games against everyone else, we, we, we either won one or two there, and then every single other game we were right there competing to, for a chance to win. And that was uh, the big thing we were fighting for is getting to be more consistent and, and giving ourselves a chance to be more competitive. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys.